What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We got a little bit of something different for you guys today. We haven't had much of this uh, at all, but we are working on some Lord of the Rings stuff today um, for uh, you know, from GW, of course. And uh, we are currently working on the Easterlings army, but we decided to also pick up a good one here. And so we're going to go with fiefdoms ultimately here, but we decided to pick up, uh, if we can read that there, Prince Imrahil of Dol Amroth. So pretty cool thing here. It is unfortunately one of the older metal things. Um, but uh, we get a mounted and a foot version here too, so we'll be right back after we get this open for you guys. Alrighty guys, and here's what we get. So basically we have uh, five different metal pieces. Of course our base for the um, mounted version, which again, we'll just have to punch a little hole in there. Nothing out of the ordinary, and then the slotted base for our infantry version. Um, so, or the foot version. So thankfully this one is just a one-piecer, no assembly required here, just a little bit of not warpage, but you can see the sword's a little bit bent there, so we still got some work to do to um, get that kind of in the shape we want it. But overall, pretty gorgeous details here, and this is, again, one that just looks absolutely stunning when it's painted up. So, um, And one of the reasons we're going to go with that for our uh, Forces of Good faction that we're going to be working on. Um, again, primarily, um, uh, was it the... Uh, fiefdoms list that we're going to be running but gives us some options to dip into other factions as well if and when we choose um some bits here for the mounted version uh we get a lance on that one as well so your standard peg fit there nothing too crazy and then the body the horse and everything so um needs a little bit of cleanup work I'm just trying to get this to focus properly, but overall, nothing really warped. Um, just a lot of little flash and stuff to clean up here. But basically, the horse and the, the uh, kind of fits together here with these two uh, pegs and holes. And if we could just get this to stay focused, kind of show you guys some of the detail. It's just being an absolute pain right now. Let's give that a try here. There we go. Kind of got that in focus for you guys. Um, so yeah, pretty nice that, um, by and large, it's, um, just the two pieces with, again, adding on the arms and uh, stuff like that, the shield and the lance, that's not too bad. Um, it's just good that, you know, the horse isn't like three or four pieces or anything like that. I feel like that would just be a real pain in the butt. But again, just absolutely going to be gorgeous once this is together, but you can see a little bit of flash here and there to clean up, probably some things to slightly bend back into place. But the bigger of the two pieces here with most of his uh, body on there as well. And then as you guys can kind of see, get the other piece here. Show you, so we got uh, the uh, right side of the leg and torso there, uh, the horse. And again, a little bit of cleanup work here and there. Um, I can't remember if they actually made a fine cast version of this or not. I feel like uh, that would be nice. Uh, but again, some people don't like fine cast. Um, personally, never had a problem with it, um, at least not with any of their uh, loader stuff, but, you know, to each their own. But um, overall, not bad. Really just mainly thankful that there's no, like, serious warp or anything that we have to clean up. But, um, yeah, that's Prince Emmerich, so really great model. And again, nice that we get the, uh, the mounted and the uh, foot version there just for whichever flavor we do want to run in our faction. Um, that being said, uh, we're still relatively new to the loader strategy battle game, so... Um, again, our main faction is Easterlings. We're, we've got plenty of work started on that. We're really just in the process of painting up right now. Um, but uh, this will be kind of our newer uh, project as we build up a, a good uh, good guys faction here. So for those of you guys who do play the game and also play fiefdoms, uh, let us know what you guys uh, think is a good list or a good uh, version of running a fiefdoms list. Be happy to hear from you guys and what you guys think of Emmerich overall. Is he really competitive? Is he good? Is he worth using? Um, mainly picking him up just because it's a great model and going to be fun to paint, but um, uh, who do you recommend um, special character wise um, throwing into a fiefdoms list? Let us know guys. Hope you enjoyed our quick little look here at Emmerich um, and then look for a video in the near future when we get uh, more progress on, on our forces here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one.